Today we're talking about the home appraisal process and we're getting started right now. Hey, what's going on? I'm Emmett Dempsey, mortgage advisor with Geneva Financial here in beautiful Port St. Lucie, Florida, and welcome to another Mortgage to Home Buying Tip. This is your first time here and you want to learn more about mortgages or the home buying process in general, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, today we're talking about the home appraisal process. You reached a point in, in your, your loan process where it's the, the time to order the appraisal. So what is an appraisal? What does an appraiser look for? So those are the things that we're going to talk about today. Uh, first of all, I'm going to talk about what appraisal is not. It's not a home inspection. You might hear the term inspection or the appraisal is going to go out to inspect. Sometimes it's a little bit confusing. An appraisal is not a home inspection. So I always recommend that we get a home inspection. In fact, I did a video with my friend Scott Kuyper, and here's a link to that video. Uh, so what is an appraisal? An appraisal is an opinion of value. So the licensed appraiser will uh, look at the property that you're buying or the, the home that you own on a refinance and assess its value in the marketplace based on other comparable sales. It's basically what a, a reasonable buyer would pay for your property in today's market. And it's all based on what's been selling in your neighborhood of homes uh, that are similar. So what does an appraiser go out and look for? Uh, so when he comes out to, to the property, he's going to look at the exterior of the property, make sure to uh, look at the, the relative uh, you know, damage, the, uh, the, the marketability of the exterior. You know, he'll look for major things, you know, uh, wood rot, dry rot, you know, missing tiles, things like that. Uh, he just kind of notes it. Uh, so he wants to make sure it's a similar condition of the properties, that they're similar age and condition um, of the property that you're buying. For instance, if you're buying a two-story home, he's not going to go out and, uh, and, and compare it against a rural property. Uh, he tries to compare it to similar homes in a similar neighborhood within a re relatively short distance uh, that have sold within the last three months. So uh, recency and distance are very important. So what, what the appraiser will do is, is he'll, he'll go in, he'll inspect the exterior, he'll take pictures, he'll come into the interior, he'll take pictures. So if you're refinancing, definitely clean your house. Uh, it definitely does help, you know, kind of a general uh, uh, psychology. If, if he sees a clean house, uh, he thinks that the maintenance has been maintained. So uh, the, the, the appraiser comes in and he, uh, he'll, he'll research what's been selling in your neighborhood and he'll bracket it. You know, there's certain uh, sales that are, are more uh, comparable to the house. For instance, if you're in subdivision, I mean, if you have like kind houses, it makes it easier, his job easier, because uh, he just, you know, here's model A against another model A of the same age, you know, and that, that sold for this amount, and it's reasonable to assume that it's going to sell for that amount. So, but uh, a lot of times, if it's not in, in, a, in a PUD, a lot of times it's very hard to do so. So, uh, what the appraiser will do, um, and he will, um, you know, he'll, he'll bracket it, use the comparable sales method, and he'll give certain weights to certain of the comparable sales that are most like the, the property you're buying or the property that you're refinancing. And he'll come up with his opinion of value. And then he'll either mark it as what's called as is, like it's, that it's good, or it's subject to like a repair. On an FHA appraisal, there's a certain uh, FHA and BA, there's certain uh, property requirements that they, they can't be. You know, so like if there's the holes in the walls or the things of that nature, they have to be fixed. The conventional appraisal is a little bit more lenient. So it's either as is or subject to. So he give you an, an opinion of value. Uh, ideally, when, when you're buying a house for 300000 you want the appraisal to be 300000 or more. So otherwise, because all the amount you can finance is based off the appraised value. If it comes in short, uh, you have a couple options. Either that seller will drop the price, or you meet in the middle, or you have to come out of pocket to, uh, to make up the difference. Because again, I can only finance uh, based off the appraised value. So uh, that's generally the appraisal process. Uh, it'll happen usually after, after the inspection period. Uh, we get the uh, opinion of value, uh, and that'll determine uh, the, uh, the basis for your loan. So if you have any qu more questions about the appraisal process, uh, or if you're looking to buy, sell, refinance, definitely give me a call. Go to DempseyMortgage.com. I'd love to help you out. Um, again, if you want to learn more about mortgages or the home buying process in general, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.